can we get like very specific now? We've got 16, 17 year olds are starting to think about those next steps. Um, you know, you've got the kind of finishing GCSEs, which obviously all kids in the UK have to do up to 16, have to do GCSEs. Um, what are some of the options available to really sporty folk? Like some are academic and obviously there's A-levels and there's, you know, B but what, what would you advise, you know, some of those families whose kids aren't just the kind of natural studiers, you know, what other options are available? What kind of things can parents be looking at um, for their kids to be doing at that kind of age? What would you I'd, I'd certainly be recommending? One, one of the, one of the, it's just been careers week, um, and after careers week. And one of the key conversations through, throughout that um, was, was focused around apprenticeships um, and focused around actually going straight to, to work um, and recognizing the enormous amount of student debt associated with a university degree right now. Um, and, and, and whilst I don't think that was necessarily the focus, but it was just, it is more that, you know, the, 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 this, this university life and this academic life has been put on this little perch, I think, in the last 15, 20 years. You know, this is, this is what you do. If you want to do well in life, you go to university. Whereas there is an enormous amount of evidence out there that that's not necessarily the case. Um, so you, the, the the apprenticeship thing is is definitely something that's improving, and the the variety of apprenticeships that are being available again to lots of different academic um, levels are, are there. Um, and I think we're we're increasingly seeing more more um, young people actually going. You know what? I'm I'm going to go. I'm going to go and get get into the work workplace. And from a sporty side of things. Whilst it, you know, whilst it's an a, 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 you know, enormous amount of people that want to be involved in that world, it's probably one of your biggest, you know, I'm not going to be invited. You think I, I've just done it recently. Like, what am I, you know, I really want to send my, my kids onto a camp this Easter. Um, you know, what, what camp shall I send them on? And then you look in the local area and there's, I don't know, 20, 30 different camps going on, varieties of sports, etc. And presumably there are 20 to 30 companies there. They've all got a workforce with within that. And you you take somebody at the 16, 17 route and say, you know what? Get out there in your holidays. Go and get go and do some coaching with it with those companies because they they will love that young enthusiasm, you know, energy for for it. Go there and see where it takes you. Go start doing some coaching badges. Yeah. Co you know, there as a as a structure. Um, I, you know, that that for me is the the way forward. I don't know, you know, that that sort of that world people should be afraid of that world of, mm, yeah. of of going into that because i think some of the you know some of the most successful companies up and down the country that do that i think if you ask them where that stemmed from i bet you'd find that that was well you know what i decided i didn't want to go to university so i started up my own football company and it you know and this is this is where it took me <laughs> <laughs>